Hello, this is Paul Dumas with Optimized Local Search Services, and I wanted to share with you a neat little trick, I guess, if you would, on some things that we do for small businesses to help optimize for various geographies, especially for contractor type businesses, service type businesses. And what we're going to talk about a little bit today is the impact of creating landing pages that are specific to a city. So what we have here on the left is the home page for this relatively new site that's about 60 days old or so. And the home page is very informational, obviously, and breaks down their content and whatnot. But then we also, on the right hand side, have created virtually the same identical home page, except that it's customized specifically for a specific city. And to show you the value of these, um, I can go over to Google here and do a search here for North Dallas Lawn Care Services. And we have a landing page targeting North Dallas. If we do this search, this page is less than 60 days old. I can scroll down. They're not going to be on the first page just yet for a market like North Dallas. If I go down here, you can see right here that this particular page is actually ranking on page two near the top. So with a little bit of SEO, a little bit of targeted backlinking, we can get this thing to the first page pretty quickly. But if you notice, it's not the home page that's ranking. It's the city-specific page because we were able to get the city and the keywords into the domain by the page name and also have meta tags that are targeted specifically to that page. And here's our landing page targeting North Dallas. So what we do is to avoid having too much duplicate content, you don't want identical words across the board all the way down. So what we have here is actually a little tool that we use for some other purposes, just for testing purposes and whatnot, but it has a really nice article spinner in it that allows you essentially to go in and you can take your article and you can put in different synonyms and change some phraseology so that you can actually create unique articles. This particular one has been spun about 40%. By the time I change in the cities and the different tags and the different alternate tags on the images and whatnot, I can get that where 50% of the page is unique. So what I would do to actually create this is let's go in and do a new page. Then I'm going to go back into one of my other pages over here where I can capture the content. I'm just going to copy this over here, but instead we're going to focus on the city of McKinney. Then over here, I'm going to switch over to HTML so I can pick up the pictures and everything. And I'm going to copy all this text, switch this over to HTML. Then when I come back, there's my exact same page. But what I want to do is actually get a slightly unique version of this. So let's save this. Go ahead and view this. And then I can spin this article. If the article is, if you take some time to spin it properly, it reads exactly the same. We just have some variation on the terminology that we use. So what I'm going to do is actually just copy and paste this and replace the bulk of this body. Let's go ahead and go full screen here so we can see this. Now you'll see that it kind of moves a little bit of stuff around. So I'm going to put this image back up where I want it here. Got my exclamation, my quote going there. And let's go ahead and delete this extra paragraph that I didn't quite catch the first time. Let's move this image where I want it. Get some spacing out of here. So then all I have to do is go in and actually just sprinkle in the town that I'm going for and change what's already in there. So maintaining your McKinney, Texas lawn. One thing that's very important when you're doing any kind of posting whatnot is to always put in alternate tags. So I can go in here and I've actually already got a tag crafted, but I want to change out the current and make it McKinney. Save that and make sure to do the same thing for the other one. Then of course, I want to change, let's go to Google real quick, and let's look up and see what zip codes 
can be found in McKinney, Texas. So I can come down here. Seven five zero six nine, seven five zero seven zero, and seven five zero seven one, which I pulled from right in here. You can use any website. I just usually whatever the first one that comes up from Google usually has enough of the information to be relevant. So now let's go back over here, and we have crafted a keyword-rich custom description. But obviously, I want to change Corinth to McKinney. And I'm going to publish it. Actually, on this one, I'm using a different template. You don't have to worry about that. And we're going to view the page. So here's our McKinney, Texas landing page. You can see up here we've got McKinney, Texas Lawn Care Service right in the domain name. We've replaced all the McKinney's, make sure we caught them all. I even have my alternate tag where it says McKinney. I've got my zip codes and the spacing is good to go. And so we have now a city specific landing page that either with targeted SEO and link building back, creating links back to this particular page and just building up the value of this specific domain or given enough time, depending on the, competitive, the competitiveness of the market, I wouldn't be surprised to see this page ranking on, on the first page of Google for various keyword searches, typically within four to six weeks. And it's just an easy way to spread your reach as you're trying to grow your market beyond whatever town you happen to be based in, where hopefully whatever town you're in, you do rank for a website if it's put together properly from the very beginning. If you have any questions, uh, check us out at Optimized Local Search Services. And I appreciate you watching the video. My name is Paul Dumas.